Hey guys, this is Crispy990 back again for part three of my uh, little series on lanyards and bracelets. Um, with this one, this is a little more complex than it probably needs to be, but this is how I do it. Um, this is essentially how to make a cobra stitch. Um, I don't think I'm going to show you how to make this one because the uh, Wilderness Outfitters guy does a great job of it. And um, I learned very, very easily on how to do it. So, this one. This is another King Cobra Stitch bracelet. Um, same thing as the Cobra Stitch, except it's got two layers instead of one. It's what I wear most of the time. Sort of uh, compliment, or not compliment, uh, sort of provide symmetry for my Nixon watch. Um, okay. Alright, this is a DVD rack, and I just put a carabiner up here. And what you do is you take um, maybe a 10 inch or you know, 20 inch cord, fold it in half, tie a knot at the end. Um, for me, I need about an 8 inch cord to go around my wrist, and um, put it on the carabiner. And what I've got down here is just pretty much two metal bars that I've tied together, so it's you know, just um, tough. And I've got an S beater on the end, just sort of some paracord with an S beater on it. And I put this up underneath my knees, so I can put this here and tie this on the end of it, and um, put it up underneath my knees so I have tension. I mean, this is probably even it's not necessary, but it's just how I do things. Um, it just makes it a little faster because you don't have to keep it taut with your hands and you can um, work with it easier I guess. Now you want the cord flat so for you it would look just like this but um, you want to be able to see the loop. Okay. Um, now I'm not going to make a full bracelet I'm just going to show you how to make one. This is the same cord I use for the um, box knot and basically, this is how you do it with two cords. Uh, you can do it with one, but I like to do it with two because that way you can put a uh, sort of a different colors on it. Like um, with this one, the white cord is the white cord I'm going to use here, and the black cord is this piece right here. Uh, and it just sort of gives you different colors you can work with. It's kind of neat. You can see the black through the uh, white outer stitching. Okay, you. Um, go around the back like this and hold one and sort of make an S with it. I don't know if I can adjust my seating. Um, there's my cat. He's sort of trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Um, Alright, so you you just want to make an S with it, like this. Um, I don't know if you can really see that. Then you take your cord that you haven't worked with yet and put it down through the front of the uh, loop you've made, back around the back side of the gray uh, stitching I've got here, and then back up through the loop. So you pull it tight, and it looks like that one going this way and one curling around it. Um, then you want to sort of loosen this up, make sure they're the same length. And you want to leave a little bit of a loop on the end, maybe about an inch long or so, because that is going to be this part right here. And how I make the latch is I just make a knot on the other end and put it through the loop and um, if you get the loop right, or the knot right, you can do that, and it's no problem. Okay, and um, then you sort of alternate sides with that same process. So you go from the right, and make sort of a loop across the middle. Take your free cord, and uh, down through the front, back around, and up over here, and then pull it tight. Same thing, S, down through the front, up, 
to the back, pull it tight, and alternate sides so you've got um, this pattern going on with the uh, alternate stitching. So you sort of make sort of V patterns all the way down. And um, what I do is I just take one, make it like that, down through here, up through here, and there you go. And just keep doing this over and over and over again. I'm going to run out of cord in a second, but um, it, as I said, it goes a whole lot faster with this whole rig I've got set up where it's very taut. Um, you really don't have to make the loop, it's just an easier way to explain it. But just cross the uh, left one over the right one and then back up through. Wait. And back around the back side of the string and back up through. And you want to make a loop with whatever one does not have the vertical strand. Um, wait, now you want to make the loop with the one that does have the vertical strand. Excuse me. And keep making those. Pretty basic. Not that hard. You can see that a little better. And then you just go all the way down until it gets to be. I don't know. Let me check this out real quick. On my wrist, I need about an 8 inch band. Or, no. It's about 8.5, eight, eight and 3 quarters of an inch. And the uh, braiding itself is about 6.5 inches. Six and a quarter, maybe. Um, now, to do the King Cobra stitch, all you have to do is the same thing. Just when you get all the way to the bottom, go back up. And you can um, spin this around. Um, and once you get it like that, you just do the same thing you've been doing. Over and back up and around. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Yeah, I can't show you after that. Uh, but you just keep doing the same stitching. You just keep going down and then back up. And um, then you end up with two layers, and it looks like that. Now you can do this all with one cord. You can do it with two cords. Or with a king cover stitch, you can do it with three cords if you like. Um, you know, you can have, like, um, one cord that goes all the way down. Or you could uh, do two cords like this or you could make this the regular cobra stitch and then take a third cord and go back over and make the second layer to make the king cobra stitch um, there is another video on youtube that i learned from and let me find real quick uh, cobra. Yeah, here we go. Cobra Stitch Tutorial is the uh, name of the video. And um, the author of the video is Josh Manaka Josh. J O S H M A N A K A J O S H. Um, that's pretty much how I learned to do it just by myself. It's not hard. Um, it just takes a little practice and a little patience. But anyway. No idea how much time I have left, but there you go. That's the Cobra and then the King Cobra stitch. If you um, didn't get that, you want me to do it again, you know, fully all the way in uh, probably two videos, so I can do that for you. Uh, just, you know, send me a message, comment, as always. And, um, you yeah, know, if you've got problems with it, let me know. I'll try to help you out. Uh, once again, Crispy990. Thanks for watching. Peace.